Once upon a time, it was a little hard to inspire students to read at Skyline Elementary School. Day after day was spent trying to convince them they should want to read. But then, something wonderful happened. Dang, whose palace? Nellie blurted. <laughs> And I'd go on the blog and write what I thought about the 39 clues. The wiki was where we would post our information that we found from the 39 clues website. In the second book, we learned about like Mozart and music and stuff. And I'd write some more stuff. She stayed a few steps back behind Ian as they crested the hill. It all began when teacher Mike Benz began reading aloud the 39 Clues books to his class. The 39 Clues book series has many components to it. It has an online component, it has of course the component with the literature, and it has a um, card component, a trading card component. The story sends young readers on a trip around the world and through history in an attempt to solve the 500-year-old secret of the powerful Cahill family. Students read the books, collect playing cards, play an online game, and do historical research to find all 39 clues. At Skyline, it went further. A blog and a wiki for students to discuss what they read and to collaborate on clues. Without the wiki, um, the kids didn't have that opportunity to bounce ideas off each other, or, uh, uh, off each other, to say, oh, I found this clue on page 139, what do you think of this? They were blogging at seven o'clock in the morning and were blogging up until 10 o'clock at night where their teacher had to tell them that that was enough and it was time to go to bed. It didn't take long for the excitement to spread from the classroom to the whole school and from the whole school to the online world. Even the book's publisher, Scholastic, got involved. I don't think I could have imagined this. I could foresee it, but to really see it happening. There were online question and answer sessions, video conferences, and finally, a visit from a 39 Clues author. The kids thought the author was a rock star, Peter Larangis, and he said who had read his book, and everyone raised their hand. I think he asked, okay, well, who didn't read the book? And there were maybe five kids that raised their hand, but I think that to get a population of kids anywhere to read anything at that level is, is phenomenal. And I think that's really, truly inspiring. I was very surprised with the direction that it took off. We had publicists, editors, authors at Scholastic, the publisher, who were as into this project as we were. I've had numerous parents come to me and say, I can't believe that my child is at home and wants to sit down and read, where they've never, ever done that before. And so ends our tale of Skyline School, where books became an inspiring tool. And teachers and students all said whoop-de-doos for a love of reading and the 39 Clues.